Ella is the daughter of the famous animator Suzanne Blake, who helps her mother to finish her last stop-motion movie. Suzanne is old and has a problem with her hands, so Ella has to move the dolls for filming, although in fact the girl dreams of creating something of her own. When Suzanne suffers a stroke that sends the woman into a coma, Ella honestly tries to finish her mother's project, but at some point the depths of her subconsciousness find its own voice, and the girl begins her own story, which slowly driving her crazy. Many filmmakers explore the relationship between creators and their creations, inevitably coming to the conclusion that if you stare into the abyss, it is bound to start staring back into you. This is not a very original and profound idea, but it often results in atmospheric horror films that take you on creepy excursions into the darkest recesses of a disturbed psyche. Such films include Black Swan, Velvet Buzzsaw, The Neon Demon or Censor. The coherent logic in such films is not only unnecessary, but also harmful. Irrationality and oppressive inexplicability of what is happening only benefits authors, who in their films try to cross the classical film structure with a fine lace of viscous nightmares, obeying its own laws. Which, by the way, also adds a disturbing note. You're watching a movie that is constructed, according to all the rules of three-act dramaturgy, but the further you go, the less clear, understandable, and intelligible it becomes. Something like the ever-increasing, uncanny valley effect, straining at the contrast between outward simplicity and its elusive, shapeless message. Stop Motion is a movie that fits the description above perfectly. Its writer and director, Robert Morgan, is a master of puppet stop-motion animation, who spent 30 years creating surreal, short animated films, filled with creepy, physiologically repulsive imagery. Horror fans could see his work in the anthology, The ABCs of Death 2, for which Morgan created a puppet story about a nightmarish insect that helps an executed man to revenge for his death. In his feature-length debut, Morgan seems to be trying to reflect on his chosen path, with the main goal of marking the precariousness of the reality of a creative person, the risk of going to a place from which there will be no return. How to evaluate such a movie is not clear, it either hits you somewhere where it hurts, responding with familiar notes, or flies by with a deafening whistle, leaving behind nothing but confusion and irritation. All creative people are crazy to some extent, they are not like everyone else, and stop motion is a chance to see what is going on in their heads from a safe distance. Whether you're interested in it or not, is up to you, but be warned that there are no pink ponies.